In this video, I'm talking about time and I'm going to show you three different ways of changing the speed of your footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And then we're also going to get into some advanced time remapping. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Premiere and as you can see, we've got our footage on our timeline. This is just real time video. And as you can see, it's currently at normal time. So in order to speed this up or slow this down, we're going to right click the footage go up to speed slash duration, and that should load up the clip speed slash duration window. Now to speed this up, we'll just increase the percentage. So we'll go 200. And as you can see, the speed and the duration are linked. So with the speed at 100, the, the duration is 19 seconds. But with the speed at 200, the duration is at nine seconds. So of course, if you change the duration to, let's go 10 seconds, then the speed is going to change to 198 or 191, sorry. And of course in here, you can always select reverse speed and that will just reverse the video clip. So this is in 191%. So the footage has sped up. And then if you wanted to slow this down, then you just do the same thing. You go speed slash duration, but we go below 100. So we go 50%. And as you can see, the duration is 38 seconds. Press OK. And we've got our slow motion footage. The problem is though, if we zoom into this to a point where there's more motion. So let's go here where we've got all of this traffic. As you can see, focus on this car. Look at the movement of this car and look how weird this looks. It looks really jittery. And the reason why this looks so jittery is because this footage was filmed in 25 frames per second and we've pulled that down to 50%. So we're only actually viewing this at 12 and a half frames a second. You always want to make sure that your footage is at least 24 frames per second or higher. So when you slow down footage filmed at 25 frames per second and you take that below your 25 frame rates, unfortunately, it's going to look really weird and jittery. So make sure when you're slowing down your footage, you're slowing down footage filmed in at least 50 frames per second. So that was the first method. The next method of speeding down your footage is to use the rate stretch tool. So in order to access the rate stretch tool in Premiere, you just go over to this bar here, go to this third one down. It should say ripple edit tool by default. Select that, drag across and go down to rate stretch tool. And as you can see, the keyboard shortcut is R. So if you didn't want to do that, just press R. And then once you've got that selected, all you have to do is just drag the end of the clip forwards or backwards. And if you pull it back, you're going to speed it up. And if you push it forward, you're going to slow it down. So as you can see, I've shortened that and therefore it is now 287%. And as you can see, if I pull this over to the right, therefore making the clip longer, it's gone to 219. So it's still a fast clip, but it's not as fast as it was before. But that's not the cleanest way of doing things. So I'm going to show you method number three, and that is where we're going to get into time remapping. So we're just going to start by increasing the size of this here. So we're going to increase a video track one. So we'll select this line, drag this up. And then as you can see, we've got this line appear. And if we pull this down, it's going to affect the opacity. But we don't want to affect the opacity, we want to affect speed. So we'll right click the clip. Then we'll go to show clip keyframes. And as you can see, you've got motion, opacity, time remapping, or lemmetry color. I'm going to go for time remapping and select speed. And as you can see, that's changed the look of this video clip. So as you can see, if I pull this line up, then it's going to increase the speed of this clip. And as you can see, the clip has shortened as a result. So I believe this is around 190%. And as you can see, that is a fast clip. Now, what makes this method really powerful is the ability to do some really cool speed ramping. So I'm just going to pull that down to 100% around here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the pencil. So the keyboard shortcut for that is P. Make a point on this line here. Then I'm just going to go back to the normal selection tool and we'll drag this line up here. So I'm going to increase the speed on the right side of this clip to 250. So when we play this back, you can see real time into speed. So we've sped up. So that's fast forwarded motion there. But if we zoom into this keyframe, this is a special keyframe. This is a time remapping keyframe and we can pull this apart. Therefore, increasing the gap between these two keyframes and doing that basically means it's going to transition from the 100% speed into the 250% speed over the course of these two keyframes. So 
it starts at 9.15 and finishes at 10.17. So it's going to take one second to transition into that. It looks really clean doing it this way. So when we play this back, you can see, focus on the people. If we zoom in, focus on these people here. So we're real time. They gradually get faster into that motion. And that is a really great way of doing speed ramping or video editing effects. It's also really great to do a speed ramping transition with this technique. So what we're going to do is we just increase the clip at the end. So we'll increase the speed all the way up to around 500% so we can really see that transition. So real time into 500%. And then just as we go into that, we'll press C on the keyboard and cut that, get rid of that. Then we'll drag in another clip to the right of that. We'll convert this clip into a time remapping clip as well. So we'll right click, show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new keyframe here. We'll drag the first part of this video clip all the way up to around 500%. There you go. So play this back. We go fast, fast into real time. But again, this went straight from our fast footage into our real time footage. So we'll go into this keyframe, drag these apart from one another. So we transition in and transition out. And of course, you can make this more obvious as well. So you can decrease the gap between those keyframes. And then you can just cut off the end and the start of those clips like so. And let's just pull this clip back to where it was before. So 50 and we'll put this in the center. And when you see, when we play this back, this creates a really awesome and interesting speed ramping or time remapping transition in Premiere. So there you go. Those are multiple different ways of changing the speed of your video footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, the first option was the easiest. The second option was convenient as well. But the third option, the time remapping feature, gives you the most amount of control and it looks the most visually pleasing. It also enables you to do these really cool speed ramping transitions or speed ramping effects in your edits. And that's just going to help to add character and style into your videos. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.